Okay, guys. Uh, again, continuing uh, from uh, the the, the two-stage uh, diagram. So, as I said, that, that this question at, um, at, at it's for free. This one, this twenty percent. This one is for free for everyone. So, uh, but uh, I know that each and every question comes with uh, its own challenges. Né? So, uh, let's look at, at this one. Uh, on on this one, we have um, they say the following information. As, uh, as known about the two-stage velocity component impulse at turbine. So uh, on this velocity, we do have an average uh, the average plate circumference velocity, which is uh, 200. This one is our initial velocity, right? And then we also have the air velocity, um, the velocity leaving the nozzle. This is our uh, velocity uh, nozzle. Uh, velocity and then we also have the nozzle angle which is this as a nozzle angle and then uh, they say that the velocity of flow at the outlet uh, side of the first uh, row of the uh, moving plate this one is our velocity of flow ne? so if its velocity of outlet is vf uh, is, is on what is on the exit side so it's vf what vfe uh, okay, the same uh, is the uh, velocity, the velocity of uh, flow at the outlet side of the first moving plate. So it's V E one on the uh, on the on, on the first row, and then uh, they say the velocity of flow again in the um, inlet side of what of the second uh, moving what, uh, or moving plate. So now this is the uh, second moving plate. This second moving plate is V uh, uh, F I is on is on the inlet side. So if it's on the inlet side, is V F I, uh, which uh, is on on is, is the second row. So it's uh, two on the second row, right? So if it's V two on the second row, let me write with a pen. I think this pencil is not visible enough. And then um, we have the relative velo uh, okay the relative coefficient of a velocity. This is of the first uh, stage only. This is k is of the first uh, stage. So that means now we only have k for the first stage. And then we have also the velocity. Uh, sorry, the relative uh, the velocity entering the second um, row. So this is the velocity entering what the second row. So that is entering, that means it's V I number two uh, on the second row. And then they also said here um, the, um, the ratio uh, between uh, the ratio between the exit uh, relative velocity and the inlet uh, velocity of the second flow. Ne? Of the second flow is what is this one. That means this is a K on the a second flow. So and then they say there is not there are no change in flow velocity of the second uh, row. So if they're saying there's no change, then no change in flow velocity in the second row, that means uh, even on this uh, on the exit side of the second row is uh, is still uh, this one. We, we say that this is an exit. Ne? Uh, uh, it's the inlet ne? Uh, flow uh, velocity of flow in the inlet side. So this is uh, the velocity of flow in the inlet side, which is 100 meters per second. They say uh, there is no change in the velocity of flow. So uh, this uh, then means uh, your V, your VF, uh, VFI, uh, so we are in a second stage, which is 2, is still equals to your VFE, uh, which is still the, this one, uh, there's no uh, change in the velocity of flow. So also this one, if they want to term you uh, using this one, if they say there's no end trust force in the form uh, in this um, velocity diagram, that means still this one is equal. You know that the end trust force is equal to the force uh, multiplied by this VF, uh, the VF1 minus uh, VF2E. Uh, uh, ne? So if these two are equal, that means it's going to give you zero here multiplied by the mass, which is still zero, 
therefore the antitrust force is not there. That means the, uh, these two are equal if they say there are no antitrust develop in the system. And then also we have the mass of flow. Uh, this mass you use them when you calculate uh, things like power, the antitrust, and also now. Okay, and then uh, the um, the okay they say use the scale of uh, one millimeter is equals to five um, meters per second. So now let, 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 let's let's draw the the, the the diagram. So when we are drawing this diagram, uh, I know this uh, each and every uh, diagram has its own uh, challenges, right? So uh, let's say this is our initial velocity. So if this is our initial velocity, which is what is 200 uh, meters per second, and we are having the nozzle velocity here, yeah? this is the nozzle, uh, sorry, nozzle angle, the nozzle angle is here, yeah? which is what, uh, which is 25 degrees. And then uh, if you have this 25 degrees, they said uh, the nozzle, uh, the nozzle velocity is 900. So that means you measure this 900 here in this line when you, you are measuring this 900 you just complete it here and then and now you have this v uh, vi which is 900 uh, meters per second so now you measure this one which is going to be v um, i so this is the inlet triangle right so uh, when you check here they say the, uh, the velocity now the velocity of flow at the inlet uh sorry second stage i'm talking about this one the velocity of flow at the outlet side of the first row it's 250 so this 250 meters per second that means it's the velocity of flow this side let me oh okay let, let, let me just say this side ne? this one is the velocity of an it's the velocity of flow this one this side is the velocity of flow at the inlet side right so it's just it's this distance now nah? this distance from the line of the uh, of the initial velocity to the uh, tip or to the end where where this uh, relative velocity they are to the they are intercepting which is this distance this is the velocity of flow on the first uh, 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 on the inlet side but uh they said on the outlet side we can they say on the outlet side this velocity of flow is going to be is going is 250 meters per second so if this is 250 meters per second what you have to do is to draw a line just stretch out a line like this yeah? So you know that uh, your your velocity, uh, your outlet velocity, this line, it should intercept on this one, right? So because we don't have the 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 the, uh, the inlet or the outlet angle here, yeah. so but we know that uh, this outlet uh, velocity it should intercept this one before it goes to uh, this side. So what you're going to do is to measure this line when you have this measurement of this line. Let's take maybe you get this line as 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 let's say it's 20. So it's 20 millimeters. So if it's 20 millimeters, you multiply by your coefficient of friction, your coefficient of friction of a 0 0.8. This coefficient of friction is only applicable on the first row now of the moving plate. So multiply by 0 0.8, then you get this line, and then make sure that it intercepts with this one. And if it intercepted this with this one, because you don't have an angle, it's uh, easy, it's flexible to, for you to accommodate uh, 18. Let's say, you, um, let's say you get, uh, let's say if it's 20 times uh, 0 0.8, you get 16. Yeah? When you place your ruler here, uh, you're looking for, for, for 16. Yeah? But okay, now, now my scale is too much. But uh, if, if we say uh, maybe it's 80, Maybe it's 85. Let's say this is 85 millimeters. This is 85. So if it's 85 millimeters, you just stretch your ruler up until it. Um, if you don't have an angle, it's easy for you because you, it's it's flexible enough for you to 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 change, or to make sure that it intercepted this one. So where it intercepts, it's going to intercept here with this line, and then when it intercepts, you draw the line. 
and then you close it also and then you get this VE on, on, on the second stage right so now when you do have this one you continue to the second stage so on, on, on the second stage they said that this um, there is no change ne? there is no change in the velocity of flow and the velocity of flow was given as 100 uh, uh, millimeter, uh, 100 meters per second so if it's 100 meters per second therefore you have uh, you just draw here yes this is your 100 millimeters ne? 100 uh, meters per second so and then just stretch out this line make sure that every uh, or uh, these two lines will intercept in this line so that this VF um, is equal to VE uh, on, on both on the second stage now okay and then uh, now we do also have uh, we have what um, okay we we don't have anything on, on on the second row oh but we do have this one here this is the uh, velocity now uh, the velocity of this uh, the velocity entering the second row is this one so it's v i number uh Two, this VI2 is uh, 200, it's 329. So this 329 meters per second, it will be this line. So you make sure that it's intercepting with this one. So this VI is going to be 328 meters per second. When it intercepts, you just close it. When you close this line, you measure this one and also you're going to draw this side and then make sure that it intercept you can it can even come to this point it's fine so unless until it intercepted this line and then you close it then just just like that oh, oh okay and 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 because we were given this line uh because we we're given this one therefore to get this side here we are going to say 328 divided by our key Right, and then you get to this side. So, uh, mm, that's it. Um, okay, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm lifting something here. Because uh, the, the coefficient of friction is not uh, the same, uh, on, on, on the first row is uh, 0 0.8. And then on, on also on the second row, we are given the different one, which is 1 point, um, 1 point, 1 point, okay, where is it? Mm, we are given as 1.8, uh, 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 yeah, 7. So this coefficient of friction, we we'll use them it to, to get this side of the component, right? So to get this side of the component, and then you can uh, close it also. And then uh, on, on this side, you don't use this K because these two Ks are not the same. So this one will uh, just... Uh, you will get this value when you draw this one and then you just close it like that uh, okay the, the, the last question uh, the last question uh, uh, okay that's only took, took, took us 13 minutes total okay the, the the last question on on here which is going to be our last ex example on on our velocity diagram so uh, this one it also has it on uh, but this one is more like the same uh, lay on the same one that I started with the one that I already uploaded uh, yesterday so on this uh, velocity component they said a velocity component two stage to uh, impulse turbine was designed uh, so for an XL at discharge so if it's designed for an XL discharge, they say the inlet and the outlet angle of the first row are both 25. So on the out first row, this one, and then the relative velocity at the outlet is this one. And then uh, the exit angle uh, of the fixed plate is this, that misses our uh, exit angle number two and then we have the gas and then the loss so let's say you use uh, because we are not given the initial velocity they say use a length of 40 millimeters uh, for an average plate velocity right so that means this one it gives us your our initial velocity and then uh, and then they said also use a 
length of 22, né? 22 millimeters uh, for the uh, velocity of gas leaving the turbine at uh, um, at the okay, the, leaving the turbine. Yeah. So this is the uh, it's on the second stage. Né? This is the uh, uh, 22 millimeters uh, for the velocity leaving the uh, turbine for the gas leaving the turbine. So then on on this case, you're going to draw. We're going to start with our second moving uh, blade. So on on st stage number two, you have your U, your U, which is going to be your 40 uh, millimeters, and then uh, is discharge axial. You just draw your axial discharge and then uh, we are also given this uh, side which is 17 uh, de uh, degrees so if this is 17 degrees they say that this one it will be 22 millimeters so if it's 22 millimeters you close it and then you have this VR this fine no? the, the, remember this is uh, it's on the second stage I'm talking about the second stage this is VI2 and then from VI2, therefore, you will get this side. So you make sure that it intercepts with this one. So we know that VE is equals to uh, K times VR, uh, VI2. Okay, then to get this one. So now that you are complete with your velocity diagram on number two, you can continue to the second, uh, to the first stage. First stage, you do your initial velocity also. And then uh, on the first stage, we are given uh, to uh, this uh, 25 millimeter, uh, 25 degrees, 25 degrees also. Yeah? And then to, to, to get, because now they say there is what, there is a 4% uh, loss of velocity across what, across all the blades yeah? due to velocity. 4%, that means it's 100 minus 4, we get ourselves 96%. So 96% that means it's going to be 0.96k and then the 0.96k multiply it by this 22 to get this side and then you will just get your answer here and then when, 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 when we multiply or we divide it, no? we divide it by 22 divided by 0.96 and then you're going to get yourself 22.9 that means it's 23. Yeah going to get yourself 23 millimeters then if it's 23 you do have now this VR this VRE and then this one divide by your K to get this side and then when you get to this side you just close it that's that's it so I, I, I hope you guys um this information help you to understand the velocity um, diagram. So the velocity diagram is all about knowing uh, the, the the language here yeah, the, because they are using some terms and then just know what is a relative velocity, what is an outlet, what is an inlet, and uh, the uh, velocity leaving the turbine, the, the one that is leaving the turbine. That becomes a nozzle velocity on the second stage. Yeah. Thank you.